today I want to show you how to create cool carpet with very displacement modifier in order to uh, make and insert nice carpets into your uh, 3d interiors okay so the first thing that you want to have is a uh, scene is a basic scene setup with lightings or everything it might be a room it may be uh, some interior space um, with the very physical camera applied to it um, so I've got mine if you don't have uh, something like that uh, you can uh, download it from my blog so uh, let's get down to our business and create a carpet I'm going to use a plane a simple plane right here so uh, create a plane and uh, add enough length and width segments in order to have a good quadratic uh, segments distribution I'm going to use 32 and I'm going to use 42 because I'm working with uh, 420 centimeters and 320 centimeters so this is basically going to be quadratic okay um, the next thing that you want to do is to add a little bit height to your carpet so uh, let's add a height it's going to be um, a shell modifier just press s till you find shell and press ok when you find it let me press l and go to the left view in order to view my uh, shell modifier being applied so as you see here this shell modifier is uh, is quite thin uh, you don't want to make really thick carpet, but you don't also want to have a thin paper So uh, just to give a little bit of height to your carpet and uh, and you'll be fine The next thing is uh, we want to add some uh, map some uh, Material to our carpet and I'm going to use a very standard material I'm gonna give it a little bit uh, beige color something like that. I'm gonna name it carpet of course and if I'll scroll down in bump I'll put some nice bump texture as you see here I'm not using real world scale parameters uh, just a regular uh, bump uh, it's actually grass but uh, it's also good for carpets so uh, as you see here it's kind of small it's 512 and 512 you might want to use bigger resolutions for uh, your uh, displacement uh, objects but uh, for this tutorial it might work uh, quite good because it's a small carpet so uh, I'm going to put it in my uh, in my um, displacement in my uh, bump mode. Sorry, right here on the bump map, and uh, I'm going to press assign this material to my carpet, and I'm going to press show standard in order to see my uh, material being applied to the carpet. So it's actually on the bump, only in the bump slot. Um, the next thing that you want to do is to put UVW map to your carpet. So just uh, press U and scroll down till you find UVW mapping. Um, also here, don't use uh, real scale, uh, uh, real scale uh, parameters. Just uh, use it on the box, and um, well, you can work tile link a little bit on that one, something like that and you might want to also put maybe, maybe something like this could work just fine for your carpet so make sure your UVW map is aligned uh, and it's not too big and not too small so uh, you'll, you'll be able to uh, to see uh, sort of a hairs uh, here that uh, where our carpet will generate later on okay so I'm going to press C and uh, the last thing that you want to add is your V-Ray displacement just press V till you get to your V-Ray displacement mode um, use it on a 2D um, uh, mapping because we're not using procedural so there's no need to use 3D mapping in this texture map you might want to drag the same JPEG as we applied to our bump so I'm going to drag and drop it like that um, as you see here I'm going to use amount of 1.5 centimeters this is basically it I'm going to also use a 512 uh, resolution for my text uh, for my uh, map because I'm using a 512 uh, resolution if you use bigger uh, 1024 or 2048 this is the amount that you should put here okay so uh, let's uh, let's press render and see what we get um, as you see here I'm rendering big resolution 1600 pixels on uh, 1200 pixels it will be big enough in order to zoom and get a uh, good orientation of uh, how our uh, map displacement map uh, being uh, distributed so uh, while this render is uh, proceeding um, I would like to give you some uh, another good news 
in, uh, in two days I'm going to release my very interior workshop. It's going to be basically uh, all the procedure of uh, setting up your 3D Max, importing DVGs, uh, building up walls, um, making textures, setting up lighting, and uh, making preview renderings, and of course making uh, high resolution, high production renderings. Um, and uh, some videos on the um, post-production that might bring your 3D renders to the next level. And uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, nice uh, bonuses, like uh, free models. Um, I'm going to give you my uh, texture library that I prepared specially for this, uh, for this, for this training. And uh, this is going to be uh, 15 videos on that uh, very interior uh, matter. So uh, you'll be able to uh, watch um, as much times as you need. And um, it's also going to be in a closed forum. So we're going to uh, go and create our small community where we're going to exchange our knowledge and uh, get to know each other and to make some really nice renderings uh, with, uh, with different variety of, of design because I'm going to supply some really cool um, design uh, models that I uh, picked up from the premium designers <coughs> and uh, well it's going to be awesome yeah and uh, this is going to be out in uh, in two days so uh, stay tuned in order to follow all right so uh, here we go here we got our carpet it's a uh, really really nice uh, distribution rendering uh, with displacement map um, we can see the nice shapes and everything um, let me show you some another trick in order uh, to uh, to make to optimize the rendering. So if we check and we're gonna check our rendering times right here, it's two minutes and fifteen seconds for this big resolution. It's quite okay. But uh, let me show you how can we optimize that. I'm going to select my carpet and I'm going to cut my uh, displacement and I'm gonna do some optimization, some selection. Uh, I'm going to select my inner material AD of this carpet and I'm going to delete basically the inner surface of our carpet. So this is something that's going to um, optimize and going to make our render go faster because we're not going to have this all this inner surface uh, to calculate. Okay, so I'm going to press all those, uh, override my inner ID channels right here and I'm going to put two uh, to my mat material ID right here and I'm going to put editable poly I'm gonna ask, uh, gonna press polygons and gonna scroll down to my selection ID I'm gonna press 2 right here and make a selection so we did we did an inner selection of our uh, displacement map now I'm going to um, put a uh, shrink so it's going to go and shrink a little bit because I want to have, I want to still have my corners. And after that, I'm going to uh, add a delete. I'm going to delete this mesh. I'm going to uh, select delete mesh modifier. And immediately afterwards, I'm going to press uh, mesh select. And upon my UVW mapping, I'm going to press paste and paste my displacement mode. Um, so this is how you basically um, delete, you remove the inner side of your displacement object in order to have a faster rendering uh, on your uh, displacement maps. Uh, it goes basically for all the um, big surfaces. If you have a surfaces with uh, concrete or something like that, or, or grass where you made a where you made a double, uh, when you made two surfaces, like one, uh, one outer and one inner surface, and you want to uh, generate displacement, but you don't need to do that on two surfaces level. So basically, you do that on only on one surface level. As you see here, two minutes and seven seconds. So we basically could remove, uh, I don't know, like five, six percent of our rendering time. So uh, this is it. This is how you create your carpet. You'll be able to download this model from my blog later on. Stay tuned. Make sure to follow in two days. Very interior workshop is going to be out. So. Uh...